In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to make food that will up your Insta video game. You may have seen your Instagram feed fill up with all kinds of rainbow cheese toasties. I'm going to teach you just how easy it is to make. So in front of me I have some mozzarella cheese. Now this is the best cheese to work with because when you pull it apart, it will stretch. Now to make that rainbow effect, of course you're going to need different colored dyes. So I've got yellow, blue, green and pink. So I'm going to start off with the pink, put a little bit in there. And then I'm going to use my fingers and I'm going to mix it all in. So you can add as much food colouring as you like and that will increase the intensity of the colour. So I think that's about the colour I would like. So now what you need to do is you need to make like rot mozzarella. <laughs> so now that I'm done with the colouring, I just need to make some mozzarella rolls. So I'm going to divide this maybe in half and create rolls like this. So you just pack them tightly together. It looks kind of nasty, but I'm telling you the end product is very nice. So I'm done with my rolls. Now I've just got to repeat this with the other three colors. So as you can see, I've prepared very nicely my very colorful mozzarella cheese rolls. And next thing I'm going to butter some bread. I'm going to place the bottom one in the pan first. So make sure you put the buttered side down into the pan, okay? And then I'm going to place my cheese on my bread. And then I'm going to get my final piece of bread and put it on top with the butter facing up. So now that it's ready to go, I am going to turn this on, but I've got to put it on a low heat because it will burn quite fast. So basically you want the cheese to melt before the bread burns, okay? So put it on a very low heat. Okay, so this is about ready to flip right now, I think. So just be careful when you flip it so that the cheese doesn't fall out the side. So you kind of want to hold the bottom like this and then flip. And then you can press it down so that the cheese melts nicely. When you flip it over, it's not going to take as long to cook on the other side. So just be mindful of that because now the, the pan is nice and hot. Okay, so I think my toasty is about ready. Let's just check. <gasps> Freaking hot. Okay, it's ready. So I'm just going to cut both sides right in the center. So now for the reveal. Okay, you ready? Rainbow cheese, baby. Look at that. That's some cheesy toast, man. The never ending cheese. It's so hot, my hands are burning. <laughs> So I found this sugar bowl recipe on a YouTube channel called How To Cook That. Now it looked kind of complicated so I gave it a shot and it was actually really easy. So now I'm going to teach you how to make this sugar bowl. So what you'll need is one and a third cups of sugar, 75 mils of water, you need half a cup of glucose, you need some food dye and a helium balloon filled with water. Now this is important so that it does not burst. I showed you in a previous episode where if you fill a balloon with water, you can actually put a flame to it and it should not burst, okay? And I also have a candy thermometer. I need to get my syrup to 150 degrees Celsius, okay? So this is what this is for later. I'm gonna pour my one and a third cups of sugar, 75 ml of water, half a cup of glucose. Now I need to tip so now I need to turn up the heat and make that boil. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit and boil. Obviously this needs time to heat up. So whilst I wait for that to heat up, I'm going to oil my balloon. So the reason why I'm oiling this up is so that the sugar bowl won't stick to the balloon later. So later it will be a lot easier to take off. So it's starting to crystallize at the side of the pot. So I'm brushing all the crystallization of the sugar off the side of the pot down into the pot with a wet brush. So basically if you don't do this, it won't come out as smoothly later on when you're pouring it over the balloon. All right, so we're very close to 150, so I'm just gonna get oh, my dye ready and pour it over. Okay, so I'm gonna check the temperature one more time before I pour this in. I've got food dye everywhere. All right, so now it's at 150. I'm gonna put my food coloring inside the syrup. So I'm gonna give that a good stir. Okay, so now it's time to pour the sugar syrup over the balloon. Okay, so now I'm gonna let this set a little bit 
it's looking very, very nice so far. And we just wait for it to harden. I think while I wait for that to harden, I might go wash my hands. <laughs> so once your sugar bowl has cooled and set, it's gonna look something like this, okay? Now you need to pop the balloon and the water is gonna go everywhere. Okay, this is very delicate and it's very oily at the bottom, okay? Okay, okay. <sighs> very stressful okay so the next thing you want to do is you want to cut the tip off so that you can take out the water do you reckon you could hold that up oh 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 it's very messy maybe do this over a sink is better okay so you just want to dry <laughs> i'm so wet <laughs> so just let the water slowly drain out It makes me want to pee. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna slowly release the balloon and then I have my sugar bowl. Look at that. And this is what it looks like. Ta-da! So now that I've done my sugar bowl, I just have to fill it up with all delicious things like ice cream and berries. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do that. I'm very excited because it looks amazing. And there you have it, a really cool sugar bowl filled with ice cream and berries. It looks so pretty, right? Now I'm gonna teach you how to make a color changing tea drink. So what you need is some butterfly pea flour, some corn syrup and some lemonade. And you will need a straw and a funnel. So when you soak the butterfly pea flour in hot water, it will look like this. This is the butterfly pea flower tea. So now I'm gonna mix in two teaspoons of corn syrup, which will make it a little bit thicker. And then you wanna pour the tea into the crushed ice about two thirds of the way. Ooh, it's so pretty. Now I'm going to add the lemonade. Now you have to do this very, very, very slowly because you don't want it to mix as you're pouring it, okay? So that's why I have a straw and a funnel. Make sure you put the straw at the edge of the glass because you want it to kind of just seep in the side and because the lemonade is heavier, you want it to sit at the bottom so that the tea is sitting on top of the lemonade. Do this very, very slowly. So as you can see, the lemonade is starting to fill up the bottom very, very slowly. Oh, my hand's cramping. Now it's time to breathe. Okay. Now if you want to be extra special, you can put your glass on top of a cookie jar or some kind of glass, something or other, and put a light underneath it. This way the colors will come out much better for your Instagram videos. So now for the magic. Now you can watch what happens when I stir it. Are you ready? It's so pretty, the color. It went from blue to now purple. Huh? Pretty cool, right? So without the light, it's gonna look something like this. Kinda looks like Ribena. So that is why you need to put the light. And that is it for this episode. Now, if you didn't already know, I've started designing our own merchandise. You can go check it out at tandemmerch.com and maybe you'll find something you like. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at rjt99 and if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you can get notified every time the video comes out. Or you can just download the free Click Network app to watch all of our videos before they hit YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. Mwah.